politicals, you have some politicals in this room tonight that will tell you about the fact that money is so incredibly important in this race. However, our candidate in 2014, whether you liked our candidate or not, had $2.7 million. Our candidate had more money than the fifth ballot Republican that uh, ended up beating that candidate, eviscerating that candidate, 148,000 votes to 119,000 votes in the general election. In 2012, we had a wonderful congressman that only won Polk County by 4,000 votes, but the same year, President Barack Obama won Polk County by 32,000 votes. That's a 28,000 vote difference. When you look at that 28,000 vote difference, the folks that didn't show up in mass were the young, the progressives, Latinos, and African Americans. The challenge that we have, ladies and gentlemen, is not just money in this district. We have candidates that are not connected to this district. We have candidates that are not connected to the people in the broader range of coalition building that is necessary. I have spent this entire campaign on focusing on building the necessary coalition so that we can unseat David Young. That's what I spent my time on. So I spent my time not only in Polk County or Warren County or Dallas County or Pottawatomie County, which is where everyone would like to go and tip their hat, but also to the 12 remaining counties, your Fremont, your Guthrie, all of those, Shenandoah. That's one of the reasons I've been endorsed by the former mayor of Shenandoah. Matter of fact, I was there yesterday. I don't know, maybe I got sick from being down there. But the reality is this, the reality is this, if we're gonna win this race, it's gonna have to come through the building of coalitions the growing of groups so that we can build the bridges so that we can unseat November. Not simply because we have great strategies, great messaging, or great pieces of artwork that you get mailed in your, that comes in your mail, but actual individuals that connected to a broad base of coalition of individuals. That's how we win this election. We haven't been successful in the last four years from a federal standpoint, congressional or senatorial. The only way we're gonna be congressionally successful is to build those coalitions and bring them out in November.